Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter. And today we're going to be doing a comparison of two different codecs. And if you're familiar with this particular video, this is about the sine wave. And I've done a comparison before. And we're using the same video because it's a perfect... <laughs> actually, it's, it's actually a perfect... Uh, benchmark but we're using the new version the magix vegas pro 15 for th this particular demonstration now the reason why i am doing this a subscriber has brought it to my attention that magix has created a new codec that uses the nvidia graphics card which is very very impressive now I, we're going to compare this to the Sony AVC encoder and I've created quite a few of these because this is what I currently use right now because I'm using OpenCL. So I just want to show you the Sony codec and we're going to modify mine. This is what I've created. I created a couple of them here, but this is the primary one that I use for 30 frames a second or well, 29.97 to be exact and 1080p. So we just want to go in this and just show you what my options are in this codec. Okay, so bitrate is at about 26 million. Number of slices is eight. So I have I cranked this up to the maximum. All right, there's no other options in here for anything else. We're really mainly focusing on video, but everything else stays the same. Okay. So that said, so now that's that particular um, codec. Now let's go to the magics. This is the part that's going to blow your mind. Um, now I've created, let's see, we'll go into the one that I modified myself. And this is higher. So right now this is a 28,000, uh, excuse me, 28 million bits per second maximum for both average and maximum. The encoder is NVIDIA. And we're using the full preset. We're doing variable bit rate. So what we're going to do is that we're going to render with the Sony version first. And then we're going to render with the NVIDIA. And you, you, you're going to, I was floored. I couldn't believe it. Uh, and here we go. So we're going to call this test one and render this. And I'm going to speed it up. All right, so this took just about three minutes. It's actually longer than normal. This normally takes about two minutes and 30 seconds or so. I'm not sure what's causing it to be a little bit slower, but that's not the point here. All right, so now we'll go, what we're going to do is we're going to render using the and magic. Believe it or not, from this setup here and what I currently do with the Sony, this is looks identical and watch what happens so we're going to change the file name here call this test 2 now it's important the file size as well because I don't want it to be like 2 gig and and then it's only it's only a four minute video you know four and a half minute video and I don't want it to be monstrous so uh, it's usually around 800 meg you know, obviously the name is the same We'll call it dash two. Notice how much faster it's going. I mean, there is, it is pulsating. As you can see, it's pulsating and the video is stopping, but it's going really fast. As you can clearly see, this is unbelievably fast. So let me just show you the file size that I just did. So we did a test two dash. I did some other tests up here, but this one we just did before, about 800 meg. And test two is right here. And this is what it looks like. It looks crystal clear. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. I'm quite impressed actually. I can't believe how freaking fast that went. And again, I want to thank a subscriber for bringing that to my attention. 
I wasn't aware that they created that incredible Kodak. So that changes a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's almost a minute faster. Actually, it is a minute faster. Um, more than a minute faster. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, so, guys, that's what this is. This was a demonstration. That's why I keep using this particular video because it's perfect for this demonstration. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we will see you next time. Creative Labs iRaw. Oh. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. And now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,